Ladies and gentlemen, another casting game for a wonderful day of Overwatch. We're going to be on Li Zhang Tower, and this is going to be uh, NYXD, top left in your blue. It's going to be Advon, H2O, Mana, Gibby, Yasha, and Azrif against the top right red team, known as the Six of Spades. A mammoth, Modern, Wax, Leroy, Julik, and Pop. Li Zhang Tower is a, is a capture map. First team to capture two out of the three maps uh, wins the round. Their goal again is to get on the uh, get actually on the area to get full control of it, and their percentage will start going up. You'll see that in top middle, uh, blue and red respectively. They will continue accumulating percentage until they are totally kicked off, and it is the cap point is then captured by the other team. First, we have over here on the far left, waiting for them to join. We're gonna have four six of spades. Looks like Mammoth is gonna be on your uh, Doomfist. Modern is gonna be on your Farah. Modern switching to a Hanzo. Gonna go with double sniper here on for six of spades. Kind of a uh, fair mercy in the air. Leroy, Julik, and Pop will be on the point more or less to deal with some people. Uh, looks like somebody crashed on NYXD. That is Azrif. Azrif is having some issues with his game, unfortunately. But Adbon's gonna be uh, looking like he's gonna be on your Widow. H2O is gonna be on your Zenyatta. Man and Gibby are gonna be your tanks. Uh, Winston and Diva, respectively. Yasha is gonna be first damaging on uh, Genji. And as soon as Azrif gets back, we'll see what uh, he'll be getting on. But it looks like they might be switching in somebody. An excellent way to start a game of Overwatch. Let's make absolutely sure that our sound is up as high as it can be. We want some great sound effects. Oh, there should be. I put it on there. There is a delay. I'm just that good. As we're waiting for that to happen, I'm going to be looking into my settings one more time, making sure that, again, they can't really do what they say they're doing. At normal latency. I just have really good latency. I can set a delay in the messages, but not on the stream itself, it seems. Oh, it might be my OBS. Hold on. Aha! Five, four, three. We two, will solve this issue. One. My OBS. One. They brought back in. Azrif is back. It's gonna be an mercy. Fantastic. And Julik and Pop are gonna be your main tanks, or be your tanks. And here they have a Pop charging ahead, being in front of everybody. Right now, Abdon winning out the fight against a Fair of Mercy, who is then gonna be rezzed by Whack. Monkey jumping in for NYXD, trying to do a little pressure, kind of pushing back, doing a little bit of poking. Fair is back in the air, trying to mess with uh, Adbun up on the Widow. Widow's trying to find some more people to push off, and right now, uh, looks like Six of Spades is going to be taking that long route onto the left to get onto the point as it activates. Right now we have Mana coming in the back, trying to get some pokage in the back line, trying to support the little bit. Genji gets hit by a fantastic charge by Pop. Diva coming up in the air right now. It is they are down by Enrexy is down by one. Gibby gets hit out of the mech. Fair kind of just messing around in the air, doing a lot of hits, and that's gonna be Manami down. It looks like NYXD is gonna have to back out. Gibby's still out of mech. Trying to shoot some shots in there. Again, Diva gets out of mech, and her ult charges much faster uh, than her regular mech's ult. So she is able to get back into her casing much sooner. Pop pushing forward, trying to take, find some version of hits and finds his mini diva out in the open and does get destroyed. A, a monkey going in with his ult. Just trying to do some distracting, maybe trying to push some people off. Pop does finish off, uh, gets finished off by Yasha, kind of one for one deal. Adbond on Tracer now getting whacked, main healer for uh, Six of Spades. They're going to have a little trouble getting the main healing out. Discord's coming out on Fair, getting bubbled right away. Gibby trying to do, they're trying to do some pushback right now. They are, they are up by one. There comes a grab out by uh, Six of Spades and they followed up by a dragon. Would not need it because Julik was able to finish him off with his ult and the monkey goes down. Gibby is out of mech yet again. Azrif going down to Modern Lion. And we're going to have some more uh, 
cleanup, more or less, from uh, Six of Spades. Adbun finding out that he needs to just leave, and he jumps off the edge or is pushed off the edge as a tracer. Unfortunate. But we do have a lot of ults coming out for both teams. NYXD is going to have a Transcendence. Uh, if it was up just a little bit earlier, they would have been able to save the monkey in the grab that happened. Uh, but we do have Yasha with Dragon Blade going to be up soon as well. However, that is not anything to a Shatter coming out from Pop using the Transcendence to counter that. Ag to finish off Pop. Blade coming out. Trying to find some purchase. Yash able to get Mammoth, Mammoth off of the Hanzo. And Modern up in the air goes down to Admon. Leroy Brant able to finish off Manami. Wacked is going to try and get the res. Unfortunately, H2O takes him down first. Azrof measures Manami on the Winston. And they're going to try and push this forward. They are at a clear advantage here for NYXD. Great push. It took both of their main ults to a uh, good transcendence answer to the Shatter that Pop had put in their face. Pop is going to switch off from Reinhardt and go into a Winston, hopefully trying to deal with both uh, Tracer and Genji. Great choice there. Yes, just doing some picking, trying to get some more. Right now we have no ults up for either team. However, Advon's going to have a Tracer Bomb coming up very soon. A lot of poking going on. There's no more shield push necessarily from Six of Spades, so they're going to have to do a little more of a dive. And it's hard to do that with the Zarya. Zarya, of course, really good, though, because they'll be able to shield whoever goes in. Man, we trying to find some poke up there to get... Uh, the fair to back up just a little bit. Pop is on the scene right now. And he's trying to get in there and do some damage. Azure pops off Valk. Pop goes down to a tra a tracer bomb. Yasha finning his thing off. Whacked. That's going to be a fantastic hold there from NYXD as they finish off Modern Lion and Julik. And that's going to be a solid hold. Able to push it off. Getting a good good amount of picks to see if we're going to have any changes coming out from uh, Six of Spades. Nothing yet. Uh, we're going to have possibly something to count to go with the grab that Julik is holding on. He was rezzed by Wacked, hoping to try to get this push going in maybe a little bit sooner. We got 60% for NYXD. But it looks like Mammoth is going to have a Dragon Strike to go with a grab coming up very soon. We need to have make sure Azra, or H2O Games is almost at his Transcendence. Should be able to counter it. Manami goes down to Mammoth's uh, uh, Storm Arrow. And right now they're pushing, here comes the grab, Transcendence comes out immediately, a Justice and a freaking Dragon Strike will be enough for Transcendence not to heal through. They knew they needed to do that, they knew they had that it was very possible HO had the Transcendence to counter it, so you could do both of those damage ults, and they their Transcendence could not keep up with the damage output of a Pharah Rocket Barrage and a Hanzo's Dragon Strike. It used to be that you could damage boost a Hanzo's Dragon Strike, and it would out-damage the healing from Transcendence, which is around 300 per second. However, if you have Dragon Strike and Rocket Barrage happening at the same time, in a, in the same location, you, you, the only person that's going to survive is Zenyatta, as he is invulnerable when he is doing his ult. Next map on Li Zhang Tower. Plenty of spaces on here, just like the last map, to actually boot people off. So you're going to see Wacked possibly stay on that Lucio there on red uh, for Six of Spades. And you're going to see some other possible booping opportunities. Uh, this is a decent fair map. Fair map would Five, fair players four, will be able to kind of three, hug this just a little two, bit and push off and one, get a Concussion Blast to push two, them off the edge. The Modes of uh, attack are over the bridge or coming around the back to kind of go into a small area where they would push forward. Uh, right now, they do going forward. Good shield uh, by mana, trying to make sure there's no booping going on. Fair, fair in the air. For NYXD, getting charged by D.Va. Julik trying to do some damage, trying to push him back. We do have a hamster trying to do a little bit of extra push. Modern line. Jumping in the back is Manami, trying to find some kind of healer, but he's getting CC quite often. He's getting low. He goes down, unfortunately, to Julik. That is one down. It is now 6v5 in favor of 6 of spades. Modern Lion doing a decent job of uh, the hamster. They are doing a, uh, more or less, three tanks, two heals, and one damage dealer for Six of Spades. Hoping Mammoth can deal with the fair mercy of the NYXD while he stays on McCree in a very bulky three tank build to kind of push the front. Justice, Justice for Nadman already gets immediately answered by Julik with a de defense matrix. Not able to find anybody on that one. However, he does fall off the edge. Pop goes down to Gibby. High Noon coming out, getting three, getting Yasha, H2O Games, and Azrif all going down to a High Noon. Well placed, well angled, sir. And there's still a uh, hamster does try to do a little bit of zonage with his ult by putting out some bombs on the point, trying to make sure that the NYXD cannot push forward. And that was only two ults from uh, Six of Spades to be able to push back NYXD to NYXD's uh, three ults. Two ults. 
Uh, Yasha's going to switch off and try and go to a Reaper. Good choice since they have three tanks on the opposing team. Uh, Advon's is going to stick on the Pharah. Manami's going to have Angry Monkey up soon. We do have Valk coming in soon as well. Uh, Gibby getting rezzed by Azrif. Advon pushing off Mammoth getting booped off. That is a fantastic pick right now. They have a they have an opportunity to push in. It's going to be all three tanks from the end of Six of Spades going to be on the point. A Diva Bomb comes out trying to find somebody. It gets put in the bot in the shield. Another nerf that's coming out, not finding anyone, but very good zoning. And this is why the hamster is fantastic on this level. He just hooks onto the middle and starts going around do, -si -do hitting literally everybody all they want. But Adron's going to finish off Julik and Pop. Yasha taking down Mammoth as he gets back to the fight. Another area of denial coming out from Modern Lion. Just trying to zone him out a little bit, trying to hold it again. Good stall by Six of Spades. Because they have turned it in, they've got up to 88%. They could have lost that point a lot sooner. But instead, they're able to put it up to the 80%, eventually making, if they are able to win a fight against NYXD, as they're going around the far side, they will get up to that 99% and might get into overtime. But otherwise, they're going to be, if they do a significant clear. Manami jumping in and doing Angry Monkey, just trying to disperse and do enough to where they can get some kills. Mammoth goes down, Leroy goes down, Die 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 comes out by Yasha, finishing off whacked, Adron pushing Modern Lion in the face with a rocket, and Gibby gonna take Pop out, booping her off, and getting her killed, Yasha finishing off Julek, that is a full hold. By NYXD, we still have Adbon with a rocket barrage, we still have Valk. Um, that was just, uh, that was good ult management, there was just Manami using the Angry Monkey, and Yasha using uh, Death Blossom, just trying to push him back and find it, get that full hold. They are going to, uh, at Six of Spades, is going to kind of go through. High Noon coming out. Not going to find anyone, unfortunately. Justice coming out from Adbon up in the air. Not getting anyone, unfortunately. Blast himself, but Yasha is able to finish off Modern Lion. Abdon gets res. Both Pharahs go down. Both Pharahs come back up. Pop does finish off Abdon after Abdon was able to boop off Wax off the edge. Pharahs in the air. Lucio's on the walls. Mammoth does find Azrip, that's the main healer for NYXD, down. H2O Games figuring out Julek, that's the, one of the main tanks for Six of Spades, down. Yasha finishing off Mammoth again, Gibby getting Pop out of Mech. Adron finishing Pop out of Mech in a little mini diva form. And right now, they still have a, a Vera helping here on this point. Modern Lion going to be horribly staggered, unfortunately, but is going to be able to get Gibby out of Mech. And right now, it is a they need to... Right now, it looks like... Oh, Julek getting booped off! Oh, wow. Uh, what? That wasn't even from a fair. That was from the monkey jumping. Diva Bomb coming out, not finding anyone. But that was a huge stagger, huge push by getting Julik off. They're just going to have to start doing, pushing as much as they can. Justice coming out for Modern Lion, getting Yasha and Gibby. Leroy getting whacked back up. Manami finishing after uh, Manami was able to finish him off. Manami getting Angry Monkey finishing off. Uh, Manami who switched on to a, uh, a Widow. Azure going down to whack. Right now it is 99% to NYXD. Right there, they're Manami's just trying to stall as best they can, hoping they can get people back. Modern Lion finally able to finish him off. It's going to be the the full capture up onto uh, Six of Spades, and now they only have about 10 seconds to start contending the point. Tables have turned slightly in favor of Six of Spades, trying to push him back, and we got Diva on the on the point, trying to stall just a little bit. Azrif gets on the point as well. H2O Games going to be on the point. Just trying to do a lot of stalling. Die, die, die comes out from Yasha, finding Pop. Adron getting Modern Lion out of the air. Die, die, die also finds Leroy Bryan towards the end of that. Gibby finishing off Julik. And right now it is stalling game for Six of Spades with Tracer. Mammoth trying to do a little stalling, unfortunately going down to Abdom's Rockets. Justice, Justice coming out from Abdom, just trying to push a little thing down, and that is going to be a fantastic back and forth here on Lijong Tower for NYXD and Six of Spades. I like I like the back and forths. Azurf making a little play of uh, 3,700 Diva. Um, that is where Pop started uh, the season, but he's down into the lowly diamonds of 3,400-ish. For instance, uh, just to let everybody know, most of the people in this game are platinum. Some people are dipping their toe into diamond, um, but all all players are going to be at least diamond or at least platinum level. Five. Last control point to decide uh, the winner. Li Zhang Tower control point. This is another fantastic map for a hamster, which we're not going to see, but we're going to see uh, Ryan Zarya for both teams. Um, for healing, uh, HUO Games is going to stay on Zenyatta. They're kind of moving up towards the middle. Both teams kind of meeting here in the middle. They're going to do a lot of back and forth, a lot of Zarya shields, just gaining a lot of charge. 
Reaper are gonna be trying to flank. No, uh, Reinhardt's able to figure find a purchase with their charges. Junkrat gonna be trying to shoot him from the side. A lot of swinging, a lot of damage going out. Mammoth could not, deciding not to try and flank. This is a lot of back and forth. Mammoth and Pop able to do a lot of damage, but it's Manly who goes down to Modderline's Junkrat. Julek does get Gibby out of mech, and it's gonna be first capture, gonna go to six of spades. Even though Pop goes down and Julek goes down, Adgon gonna be really high charge right now. Unfortunately, uh, Modern Lion does take down H2O, a Junkrat bomb just gonna charge up more of Adbon. Leroy Brown taking out Yasha and Gibby out of mech. Mammoth here gonna finish off as Riff. Charging Pop gonna get that last swing and finish off Manami. Good, good shots right now. Good first hold by a Six of Spades. Six of Spades is going to have that Valk, is going to have a uh, Death Blossom towards the end of the fight, as long as well as a Rally. Grav and Shatter are going to be up for them very soon as well, but we're going to have a High Noon, a Valkyrie, a Shatter. Here comes out a Grav from Adbon, trying to get a few people. High Noon coming out as well, unfortunately not to finish off. Looks like Manamith was trying to do a good flank. Modern finish off Manami, a Grav coming out from uh, Six of Spades. Does get ab done. Azraf able to res Manami on the Reinhardt. Reinhardt's going to use his dash to properly get out, noticing, knowing that he unfortunately not able to push this point this fight. Pop getting forward and getting charged, trying to get a lot of poking. Julek on a lot of charge right now. Ult already at 22%. Shatter coming out, getting Mammoth and Julek. No follow-up necessarily. A nerf this coming out. Going to get, going to get Modern Lion and whacked. Leroy Brian finish off Manami, but that's... It's still, it is two people of six of spades against the four people over here on NYXD. Trying to stall as best they can. Die, 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 getting H2O games. Yasha able to finish off Lyra Brown and starting to capture the point. Six of spades deciding not to go in and try and, scat, not try and stagger anymore. They do have 84% again. Kind of similar situation to what happened last time. If they can push forward and get a good solid clear of uh, NYXD and get the point, they will just play a stalling game and just push forward and try and make sure they don't get out. We do have Mammoth switching over to a Doomfist. And getting Yasha from the side. A Shatter able to get Gibby on the floor, but a, lot, a Zarya shield and a Transcendence does keep him alive. Another grab coming out from uh, NYXD. No real follow-ups, unfortunately. Ad bomb going down to Julik. A Junkrat bomb going to be going to try and chase somebody in the back. Not is going to find Azra shooting in the back. Pop finishing up Manami. And Leroy Brown getting Gibby out of mech. And they were stalling him just for a little bit. Only 36% able to be uh, gained on that for NYXD. That was a lot of ults for uh, Six of Spades, though. And they are pushing forward, trying to make sure that they can't get to the point easily. Mammoth does have a shatter. Grab coming out, not able to, and not able not to use the shatter until he goes down. High Noon trying to come out as well. They are in overtime. Azraf getting on that. Lucio to just try and jump around, jump around. Well, get up, get up, get down. Well, Modern Lion hits Yasha down, I'll tell you that. Jubek can even finish off Adbon. Some, a charge coming out. Not able to find purchase. H2O Games finishing off Mammoth Gamer on the Doomfist. Shatter coming out of Mammoth Me as he gets back to the point. Able to get Modern Lion and Pop down on the floor, but no real follow-up. They were able to get healed up and not be able to die. Nerf this again coming out from Gibby. Gibby just charges up Julek's shield more. Mammoth Gamer finishing off H2O Games saying, I died to you last time. Not the Doomfist ult, not able to find purchase. Pop able to get Manami down. Another Shatter from Pop, not finding anyone, but able to swing and finish him off anyway. Modern Lion taking down Yasha. Julie finish off Gibby out of mech, and Gibby is then punched in the face by a Mammoth. Pop takes down Adbon, and that is going to be the first game. Six of Spades. And NYXD able to take... Uh, that was great back and force. 80% at least to each team on both sides. Looking forward to more.